If you guys want to learn the best PC Modern Warfare graphics settings to get no lag with the highest quality, then this is the video for you. Be sure to stay tuned. What is going on everybody is once again Oda here bringing you guys another video. Today we're going to be on Modern Warfare and I'll be showing you guys the best settings whether you're on a bad computer or a really good computer. These would be the best settings that allow you to see players very easily and get the best quality and performance and all that good stuff. So anyways, let's go right into it. So of course you're going to go over here once you're in Modern Warfare to the options tab. Then once we're here, the first thing you're going to do is going to go over to general and we're going to go over to field of view and change this from, I think it's at 90. We're going to change it to 120 or whatever the max setting is. That way you're able to see as much of your surroundings as possible. And we're also going to click here to advance and just double check, make sure ADS field of view is switched to affected that way when you aim in you can see more around you so it's important to have that to affected now that is the only setting we're going to change in the general section now we're going to go up here and switch it to graphics and this is where we're going to be changing the rest of our stuff so right off the bat i just want to say make sure you're in full screen that'll be the best option to choose to decrease lag now for render resolution make sure you have this selected to 100 or anything below that all that matters is that you don't go over 100 then click advanced and make sure your display resolution matches with your monitor's resolution. Make sure aspect ratio is on automatic, sync every frame or v-sync disabled. Custom frame rate limit, you're going to have that to unlimited or custom, whatever you want. That's pretty self-explanatory right there. NVIDIA highlights, if you do have this option, this is of course if you only have an NVIDIA card, I highly recommend making this option disabled because I find that having it enabled does increase the lag a little bit. Now this is the only setting that you're going to be changing according to your computer. You want to make sure that it's either on low or normal, unless of course your PC can handle high quality now if you want to know how your pc can handle it you can see at the top right your vram usage as you change this if you don't know what vram is it's in your graphics card so this is what that corresponds with so for me i found that normal works best and that high is just a little bit too close to that 6000 mark that i don't want to get close to so i'm just going to leave it on normal if your pc isn't good enough then of course i recommend switching it to low as you could see it decreases the megabytes a lot but i don't recommend setting it to very low because as you can see there's not as big of a difference as there is when you change it from normal to low so like i said either low normal or high depending on how good your pc is will be fine now for the rest of the settings i recommend just copying exactly what i have as these are the best quality settings you can have without increasing the lag at all so texture filter and it's a tropic you're gonna have this to high along with particle quality bullet impacts and sprays this is actually personal preference i like keeping this enabled i don't know i never really found a um, point to disable it uh tessellation have this to all cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows enable both of those particle lighting you could set that to ultra it doesn't affect your vram that much direct x ray tracing disabled ambient occlusion set that to both and screen space reflection or ssr you can go ahead and set that to high now for anti-aliasing i would switch this to off but some people do prefer having it on smaa t2x so just switch between the two, see which one you like more. I just wouldn't recommend Filmic SMAA as you kind of want to steer away from anything that has Filmic because that's just going to add unnecessary film to your game. Depth of field, make sure that's disabled so you have clear vision of everything at all times. And for that same reason, go ahead and set Filmic strength to zero disable world and weapon motion blur and set film grain to zero as well and that's everything for the graphics settings now there's actually one more setting i recommend you guys to change and it's going to be over here in the audio section go ahead and click apply if this shows up go over here to audio mix and change this to midnight mode and as you can see in game these settings look absolutely amazing and the best part is i'm maintaining well over 60 frames at a consistent level and as you can see i just got melted there hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys like these settings if you guys do need any help please leave a comment down below i do reply to comments very quickly so whatever you ask i will most likely be able to get an answer for you pretty fast if you did enjoy please be sure to leave a like and subscribe as that would really mean a lot to me peace out everybody